Yeah, sit down, sit down. What a nice lead up. Oh, yeah. I love it. Welcome to Burnham Beaches, which is in the Sherbrooke Forest in the Dandenong. And of course, belongs to Shannon, part of his new project out here. Also joining us is Curtis Stone. Curtis's new restaurant, Maud in Los Angeles. Eater has named it America's Best Restaurant. Wow. Well now, what you may not know is that many years ago, Curtis and Shannon both worked under Marco Pierre White. What was it like working with him? Are the stories all true? <laughs> That's only the tip of the iceberg, I can tell you. <laughs> oh, look, it was an incredible journey. So we got a great little masterclass sorted out for you today with some very tasty tips and techniques. And it starts with a take on a classic cheese souffle from me, macaroni cheese from Marco, Shannon, tart fiend. Curtis, smoked pumpkin soup. And finally, two sweet treats from Matt. I hope you enjoy it. I think you guys are going to go and have a little game of lawn bowls or maybe a cup of coffee at the Piggery Cafe. Take care. See you. Yeah. All right, thanks, everybody. <laughs> so this has been about Apprentice Week with Marco and Mystery Box, and you had one of these this week. This was about the five tastes. Remember that? Sweet, salty, sour, bitter, and that elusive fifth taste, umami. I don't mind you go for the pork chop, but the first thing I said was souffle. And the only reason I said that is that I go sweet or savoury souffle, and there's lots of flavours you can incorporate in there. There's salty elements, there's sweet elements. So I'm going to show you how to make a twice-cooked cheese souffle with a little garnish of the pig face and date puree. All right? Yep. yep. Let's kick it off. Gary, you've got 60 minutes. Your time starts now. Right. <laughs> All right, the clock is ticking. I need to get onto that sauce. So I'm going to make a bechamel, a quick one, um, and then I'm going to fold the cheese in an egg yolk. It's pretty simple. And then fold in the egg whites. I start by bringing 350 mils of milk to the boil. In a separate pot, I melt 60 grams of butter, then add 40 grams of flour. What happens is, as that's cooking, it starts to get this little white sort of tinge on the roux. And that's the flour popping, bursting, cooking. And that's a really important part of the process. Next, I add my hot milk to my flour and butter mixture. That's the roux. And make sure you stir constantly so you don't get any lumps. OK, so this has been cooking out for a couple of minutes only. All right. So take that off. And then I've got four egg yolks. And I'm putting this in because I need to stabilise this as it cooks. So the egg yolks actually stabilise that mixture, that souffle. OK, I've got 150 grams of Parmesan, and I'm going to add most of it to the mixture. A bit of salt. Lemon zest. And I also want to add some saltiness. Anchovies. Right, Fiona, can I, I need to borrow you. I need you to help me with the egg whites. So there's six egg whites. Chuck it in there. Good pinch of salt, salt stabilises egg whites. So, whisk it up. <laughs> You're like a machine. You know what was a commie? We used to do 40 yolks twice a day. Like, you get pretty good. Come on, that's not bad. That's perfect. What you want in a souffle is you want an egg white that's a little underdeveloped but aerated. And what that means is when the souffle hits the heat, there's still room for it to expand. OK, now we need to butter the souffle moulds. When we're buttering the mould, we want to make sure there's no little bit that is not buttered, especially that top part of the mould, right? You can see any gaps? It's really important. What the butter does is allow the souffle to slide up the, the side of the container. Put them in the fridge with a light coating. The reason you pop them in the fridge is so that the butter sets and you get a nice, thin, even coating. Now I add a third of my egg whites to the cheese sauce. I gently fold that in, then add the rest. And then all I'm doing is I'm folding and scraping through the middle. And I want a nice, light textured batter. That butter will have set now, so I can take the moulds out of the fridge. So then what we do, put a little bit of the, uh, the Parmesan in, and then basically 
That gives us a coating. And then batter into molds, all right? These are going to take about eight minutes. Put a little bit of Parmesan on each one. There you go. Chuck them in the oven. Very nice. Love it. This one. 180. 180. There you go. Okay, Thanks, brilliant. Gary. Thank you, Fiona. Round of applause. <laughs> Right, should we look at those souffles? Yes. Whoa! Yeah, wow. Wow, they're gorgeous. So, Gary, when you said you took them out halfway, was that the six to eight minute mark? Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay, so basically, cooked them three quarters of the way. Okay? And now we're going to cook them again in the pan, and they'll puff up. So you can actually take a souffle out of the mould about halfway through its cooking. And because it's undercooked, when you apply heat to it again, they just puff up, right? So this is what we're going to do with these. A little bit of lemon. Pepper. Salt. And baste, and I'm good to go. Right, plate up time. Elements. Now for the date puree and the vinaigrette, which I made earlier. So I've got sweet date, pig face, which is salty, lemon, and then these tiny little Whitlock leaves, which are bitter. Gary, you better be just putting the final touches on it now, because you've got ten seconds left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! Ten. Nine. Oh, serious? Eight, ten, six, five, four, three, two, one. Walk away from the bench. <laughs> Jesse, Reynolds, come on up and come. Yes. Oh, bring some back, bring some back. Eat. A little bit of the date. A little bit of date puree. Make sure you get a little bit of that. It's more than good. It's really yeah. yummy. Oh. <laughs> You're all right? Mm. Yeah. Saltiness from the souffle, and then you get that sweetness from the day. And then just the lemon just brings it all up. Yeah, the lemon's really good with that. Like it? Yeah. yeah love it. Mm. Could do it. All right, I hope Thanks, you learned something. Gary. Brilliant Thank stuff. You. Right, so next up, Marco time. Right. Pay attention. <laughs> go on, off you go. See you soon. Thank you, Gary. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Stephen, keep going. Close my... I'll catch up, I promise. It's so good. Yeah, nice. <laughs>